Hello, welcome to another video inside of my Let's Play board. Now today is a more of a casual episode. Sadly today we would not be adding anyone to the shout out room. I do have some people who I would want to shout out, but I just need a better reason for shouting them out. But now let's go and head over to a ride that I would go and get this time we are gonna walk so since like before I went to the moon which was last episode I recommend watching um probably maybe if I'm lazy it won't be there but link in the description now so the reason why I pretty much went to the moon was to find a person the evil person who I need to get the name, but sadly wasn't able to, and I don't even know where Rafter Brody is. Me all, they just been gone. I have no arrows for some reason. Life is going amazing for me, wouldn't you say? But hopefully, I could get some more helpers in because if Rafter or Brody can't come in, then this mini game will be pointless. But what am I talking about? Let me tell you the mini game that I'm gonna be building. So the mini game that I will be building will pretty much be a race. So an obstacle course where you go against someone, and then when you finish, you press a bun button, and then you dunk the person in water. So it's gonna be right next to M's. And I'm actually going to show you what I did to it. It used to be a faucet the last time we talked, but um, right after I went to the moon, I decided to change some bits up just to give it a better look. So now it looks like an M. And I just realized that it probably would have been faster to just get take a boat. But hey, you guys never ever get to see this part of my world. And later on, I want this all to be buildings. And I want something sick, like, so you know you're entering the theme park. And the road changes too when you enter. So, I added a nice little road that you can walk on. And. Here's the sign that says M's. This is how it works. You hop in, you pull the switch, and then that. And just for some people who haven't seen it, you go up. And so you will take two hits of damage, which I could put it up. But then all you need to do is go there, then you get pushed back. And I'm just kidding. And then... I also added the sim tube on that side just to make it look better and I made it so you can go this way too. But this is not the ride that I will be building. Or also I made this one too. So it will be even. And I yeah, it goes out to where these roses are. So, I have a bunch of torches, just so I could, um, know where I place stuff. Oh, actually, this needs to be white concrete. There we go. So, I'm just going to go around, and placing where the torches are with concrete gonna probably take a bit but so the reason why I want concrete I me mean, the reason why I use um torches a lot mainly to mark out like where I'm building is because this oh I did not mean to use that yeah Raptor got mad at me because like each episode he would be having to carry more in the chest because I would destroy them Got really mad. So let's go over here and destroy this. 
So I'm hoping that I won't need, like, for instance, dirt, because that would be very unfortunate. But very, I mean, very. But we have almost finished. So this will be white. Pretty easy. Now let's go in. Oh, there's two more. Now let's go and start over here. So I actually don't need white concrete, I need blue. And this. So the theme I'm going with is, oh, did not mean to put that back, is like a wave type, because this is going to be water ride. So of course it has to be wavy. So here. Now if we continue this, it needs to go all the way out to this white area. There we go. Then up by one more. So this is the easy bit. Now here comes the pretty challenging bit where we will need to pretty much do this. So pretty much if you've seen my beaches, you know how I do it. And then both sides are going to be even. So it's so uh, they can't say your side is e easier or something stupid like that. So let's continue this all the way here. Now we're going to do this one higher to give it a bit more wave texture. And then that should be this bit done. Let's see. Actually, I would like having that better. There we go. Now this is going to be a bit more simpler. Actually, I'm going to break right here and here. So I know what the wall is going to be. And I just placed it right back. It's right here. There we go, to here. So this is how big the um, obstacle, uh, obstacle, no mind. This is how big the course is going to be. Not too big, but a decent size. Now this can't, doesn't have to be the same because that would just be way too difficult. There we go. Now just fill this in with some blue. And then light blue up here. There we go. So this is one section right here. Now let's go and fill the next section. Let's break this. So here, all the way down. So this is going to be pretty much the easy your bit. Mainly because, well, all we literally building is walls. And walls should be pretty easy. And this ride is going to be one of my more rides that sticks out. Like, what I hope when you think of my world, like, of course, you're going to think of, like, for instance, my airport or the giant blue skyscraper, which you can't actually see from here out. But for, like, my fun land, I want people to think of this. So now the reason why I had this is so I can, there will be a wall too high, and then I can fill this in, a wall here, which will be 
a bit higher than this. Oh wait, wait no, that stays the same. That would be seven high. So one. Yeah, it would just be easier to count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is how high this is going to be. So there won't be any walls stopping you from seeing the other person. That's the point of this. You want to see how far the other person is. And it kind of put in more of a competitive point in this. Which I really, really like. Here. Here. Then three more. And don't worry, each course is going to be identical. Okay, so now right here we want a pull that goes all the way up to right here. Another pull that goes all the way up. There we go. So, you guys can kind of get how it's going to look. Actually, let me make this less the same. So, as you can see, it kind of looks like chairs, come to think of it. But let's go and add in the that ah yeah the ladders. Um, they are in this chest. So there will be some ladders here, some ladders here. You jump up. There will be a ladder there and there. Let me do the same on the other side. Here and here. So you go here, jump, here. Oh, I actually did it, but I uncrouch. Here. Here. Oh, I'm going to be able to do this. Maybe not right now, but maybe later. And then you can hop up and then jump here. Here, here. I hate having to do these. Like, I got good at them over the years. They still suck. And then here, and then there would be a ladder going down. Like that. And that really, really hurts. But it's really doable. There we go. So that is this section oh no it's not done actually so I need to make this one lower so you could go swimming in this kidding you shouldn't go swimming while racing anyways but if you want to you can so one more low lower. So this area is going to be filled with water, if you couldn't get from what I was talking about. Let's go and use this. There we go. And I messed up that. Actually, we don't want that. We don't need that anymore. Because we already marked that bit out, and this bit was telling me, I believe, that there's supposed to be a ladder there or something, I don't know. My science gets confusing after a bit. <laughs> so the, I will add in some water then after I do the same over here. Now I could make it deeper. But I don't really want it to. I want it to be more of a um, splash than a kaboom, if you know what I mean. Okay, it's probably don't though. Okay, so this section is pretty much done. I believe so, anyways. 
So if I fill this in, yeah, it went, when I fill this in, we're done. Um, if you guys are still watching, by the way, comment down. Um, dogs rule. I mean, cats rule, not dogs. Just so I know who's actually watches till 15 minutes. But also, um, if you like my live content, like when I go um, live, there's a channel that is going to be in the link in the description called Roman Live, where I will be going live. We couldn't tell by the name. And that's probably the best way to get my content. And so I'm probably going to have to do this part cord to get back up, which I'm not good at. Okay, there we go. So now I need to build another wall here locking off this from pretty much everything else so if we go and do that oh we don't want that there we go the same thing over here to focus so I don't mess this up because I realized that if I mess up I was going to have to use rafter pickaxe. So this is this it so far. The, I'm gonna put some water there after but let's go and do the maze. So for the maze you go down here and there's going to be a wall that goes all the way here. Right now, I bomb this, by the way. And then, I think if you go like this. Yeah. And then it's more like this. Wait, let's go over here. This, there we go, and then you enter this, you go like that, you enter this, you go like that, and right here is where the button is going to be, which is going to be white concrete. So, only going to be too high, but you're going to be um, in water the whole entire time so you won't be able to jump over but if you up here you can like study the maze but that could give the other person if they're lucky a good head start so over here is just the exact opposite so that goes not all the way actually goes to like not there. Here, I believe. Why did I place that again? Here. This is going to be here. Lock that off. This takes you here. And then like that. Now let's see where the are going to be. So the second you turn, there's a hole. And then okay, so let's do that. Second you turn, there's a hole. That goes one, two, three, four. From it. So four. One, two, three, four. So it closes. And then does the next one open? Yes, it does. So that's identical to the other one. 
So now let's quickly destroy all of them. I mean, build, not destroy. Don't know what I'm thinking. All of this. And then the fun part. Destroying all of this. Oh, it gets really, really confusing knowing that you're going in the right the wrong direction. Now this section is going to get easier over the times you play Yeah, but the thing about that, it will make it more intense, which I'll be fine with. Because the more intense, the better. Because I want this to be a competition, and then at the end you can dump one of your friends. Which I think would be very fun. Now let's go. We have to destroy this one too. Destroy that. And this. Now we just have to destroy under the um, area. So this goes all the way over here. Need to destroy all of this. We're all destroying. So you guys get what I'm going to do, so I'm going to cut back to when I finish this. Pretty much, I have um, destroyed all the ground and placed it in the water. And, well, next episode, what we will be doing is be building the giant fish tank, which will be right here in the giant towers. That will connect it all. And then, when I... And then... Then the next episode after that, we'll be playing the game, but out of the episode, I'll just be going in the ground, making it look all nice and pretty, and just getting all the materials. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe, and go out, go check out my second channel, Roman Live, for live content all behind the scenes. So, I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye!